Hey guys, a lot of you had mentioned that you wanted more information about the resin tray that I made, so I'm going to do a detailed video for you. Here's the resin tray that I recently made. It is a freeform shape where the resin resembles a marble-like look. Um, in the sun, you can see all the glitter on the inside as well. You can pretty much make this tray using any color combination that you desire. Let me go ahead and jump right on into it and share the steps with you. Okay, the first thing that I did was cover my table with the plastic trash bag. I also covered my hands with gloves and I'm wearing a mask. This is essential. You wanna protect your surface as well as yourself. After I was done, I placed a transparency sheet that was 18 inches wide by 18 inches deep. That's just the size that I had on hand but you can use any size that you want depending on the size tray that you're trying to make. If you don't have a transparency sheet, you could also use a silicone mat instead or something similar. The goal is not to have the resin stick to the material. Next, I took 100% silicone that comes in a tube and I created a shape that I wanted. If the silicone goes in places where you didn't want it, just take a paper towel and wipe it away. Once you have everything just the way you want it, let the silicone dry for 24 hours. Okay, now it's the next day and the silicone has completely dried, so now it's time to add the resin. I've already mixed up my resin, so what I'm going to do is pick out three colors I'm going to use for the tray. If you have been watching a lot of my art videos, you know that I like Arteza. And Arteza was so kind to send me a set of mica powders that I have really been wanting to try for a long time. And now I'm going to do that. Uh, the set is a little bit pricey, but I will say that it goes a long way. So it's going to last you a long time. So look at it in that aspect. The set that I have comes with 35 different mica powders and also comes with a little spoon, which is perfect. Today I'm going to be choosing the colors Carmel Brown, Rose Gold, and Pearl White. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glitter and copper later. Next, I took a little bit of mica powder and I mixed it up with the resin. You want to do this for each color you plan to use. Look how beautiful the colors are. Next, I poured the rose gold resin in first, followed by the caramel brown. Next, I added clear resin. In my opinion, I think the clear resin helps to mix the two colors together. I'm going to use my heat gun to just blend the color a little bit as well as get all the bubbles out of the resin. Afterwards, I use a stick to help move the color around. When I do this, I'm lifting the color up so that it won't remain at the bottom. 
Once I did that, I added the pearl white in. Afterwards, I let it dry overnight. Then I mixed together a little bit of glitter and resin together and then I poured it on top. Also, I sprayed copper spray paint in a cup and then I added it to the resin in small areas. Now I'm adding some clear resin on top. Once everything looked good, I added some clear handles to each end. If you wanted to know where to get these handles, I'll make sure to add it in the description box below. I let it dry for 24 hours and then I removed the silicone from around the resin. I had planned on using this again, but I ended up breaking the silicone, so I'll just have to make another one. If you find that your tray has jagged edges, simply sand it down, and you can even paint it a different color to give it a different look. And here's how it turned out. I am so obsessed using resin these days, so um, I'm going to play around some more with it, um, and I hope you guys do too. Thanks guys for watching. Have a great week.